Well, you never know when you may have to deal with an emergency. And especially, you know, as we head into the summer months, it is time to be prepared. And prepared we will have you this morning. Joining us now this morning are Dr. Karen Perkins and Michelle Musser with the Compress and Shock Foundation. First, thank you for being here with us this morning. Tell us a little bit about the foundation, what you do. Sure, so the Compress and Shock Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit started here in Roanoke in 2017. And what we do is provide free CPR and defibrillator training for the public. So we offer classes, our next big class is this Saturday, May 21st. And in an hour, folks can learn how to perform CPR and how to use a defibrillator. Well, it is obviously very, very important to know. So last hour, you demonstrated CPR, and this time you're gonna talk to us about the, the defibrillator. A lot of people a little intimidated by it. Absolutely. What's really important to know about defibrillators is you cannot possibly harm anyone with them. They are devices that are smarter than people, they will not shock someone in a normal heart rhythm. They will only shock certain rhythms that can potentially save someone's life. Okay. So CPR is the bridge to defibrillation. Defibrillation is really what's going to hopefully restart a heart in the set, in the setting of cardiac arrest. And you're going to show us how all of that works because you have one with you Correct. here? Correct. Okay. This is actually a defibrillator trainer okay. um, and this will show us how it walks you through placing the device mm -hmm. while uh, our Michelle is actually performing CPR okay. on our victim. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So Michelle finds a victim that's down and she's gonna start performing high quality CPR and I'm gonna obtain the defibrillator and turn it on. Adult patient. If the patient is a child, press the child button. So it gives you that prompt to switch. Mm -hmm. Apply pads as shown in the pictures. And then as you see, I can actually have Apply her stop for a minute as shown to place the a pad there. Firmly on skin. And here it shows you exactly where to place the pads. Do not touch the mm -hmm. patient. And, and now it's recognizing rhythm. it. So Miss Michelle is gonna step back and Do stop CPR. Touch the patient analyzing heart rhythm. Shock advised. So it'll tell us this Do is a shockable touch rhythm. The patient. Everyone clear. Make sure everyone is clear. Mm -hmm. Press the flashing shock. And button. then I will deliver a shock. And then she's going to start CPR deliver. immediately after the shock. Begin CPR. So I'm going to shut the device off just so I can mm -hmm. talk to you guys a little bit more. But basically, what it does is it prompts you with exactly what to do. There are mm -hmm. location placements for the pads. Mm -hmm. You can tell that it starts um, with kind of a beat there to tell you how fast to perform CPR. Mm -hmm. And then it actually tells you to clear away from the patient mm -hmm. before the shock is delivered. Now, so this is a trainer, right? This is so a trainer. The actual defibrillator, will it talk to you like Absolutely. that? Absolutely. It yeah. will. The okay. actual defibrillator talks to you. There has been studies that have been shown that you have children as young as 11 or 12 who come upon an arrest victim and they are savvy. They see a defibrillator on the wall. They will take it off the wall and the machine will walk you through exactly what to do and they wow. have been able to save a life. Wow. The only bad thing you can do with a defibrillator, I think this is so important to reemphasize, is to not use it in the right. case of an emergency. You can never hurt someone with it. Now, right. should we be looking for these things in restaurants, where we are, our locations, things like that? Absolutely. So they're very common in public places, such as airports. We do like to get them into the community as much as possible. So one of the things that our foundation does is that anyone who comes to one of our trainings is eligible to purchase an AED for 35% off retail value. This is not something that we receive any money for. Mm. Our goal is to just get the AEDs into the community. So we have a partner that uh, provides them at reduced cost when people get their training through our foundation. That okay, incredible. and they're portable, so you can kind of carry those around with exactly. you if you wanted yep. to, right? Exactly, they're, they're absolutely portable, and they can actually um, stay in your car. We actually recommend keeping them in your car, because if you're at home, it's in your car. If you're out and about in the community at a remote sporting event, it's in your car. You always have access to the defibrillator. That is great. And real quick, you do have, again, again classes. Yes, so this Saturday, please go to our website, www.compressandshock.org. One of our classes is at the Salem Red Sox Stadium, but we also have about 50 classes in this area. Mm. So you can find classes as early as 9 a.m. or as late as 3 p.m completely open and free for the public ages 13 and up. All right, thank you so much. Save a life. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here this morning. For more information on keeping your kids and your family safe this summer, you can head over to our website, wfxrtv.com.